Hey everybody, it's the coach, and this is Madden 20 on EA Sports. We're just about set to get started, and this ought to be a good one between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Los Angeles Chargers. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Coach, thank you much. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the City of Angels, Los Angeles, California. The scene a few moments ago, here it is. It's unlike any other in sport as both teams made their way out of the tunnel. These folks are fired up as their guys are ready to do battle between the Pittsburgh Steelers and our home team. Hi, everybody. Brandon Gordon alongside Charles Davis. And, Charles, we take a look at this Charger Club entering play here. They were winners last time out, so they'll be looking, Charles, to make it two in a row. And what I enjoyed when I watched their game tape and their victory last week is they put it together in every phase. Good offense, good defense, and some key plays on special teams. Let's see if they can get that second win in a row. Meanwhile, for the visiting Steelers, it's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason to rest. All they care about is the game in front of them and finishing strong. The holiday season is upon us. We've got the gift of the NFL as we're underway here in week 16. This is taken at the three. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And a look here at their go-to guy under center. And what I'm looking for from him today, the things every quarterback is looking to do. Lead his team to a victory. Doesn't matter whether he's throwing it, running it, handing it off, however he has to do it, as well as exhibiting some leadership, that's what he's trying to accomplish. And he's going to be taken down here with a penalty flag on the field. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. From the gun, Howell finds the open man. It's Mike Williams. If they didn't have that penalty a moment ago, it'd be a first down. Still a nice 13-yard pickup. On second down now, it's Davis. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. And the offensive starters here for Los Angeles. Keenan Allen checks every box for me as a receiver. Size, speed, strength, intelligence in what he's doing. But I love his competitiveness. When that ball's in the air, he goes after it and usually comes down with it. And last but not least, we can lay to bed the myth that he can't run fast. Keenan Allen can get up and go. That's going to set him back five yards. And this offense back to needing 10 yards after the false start. Third and 10. Operating from the gun. Howell. And that will be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. It'll be a 51-yard punt that time. And the Steelers will go on offense here, first and 10. So here are the Steelers now to take over for the first time. As we take a peek at Sam Darnold, the former USC Trojan and third pick in the 2018 draft. Coming off of a loss their last time out, I think he's just seeking to make a bigger impact on the game. He threw a touchdown pass, didn't throw an interception. I think he just wants to jump those numbers up in terms of flinging it around and letting his receivers get into the end zone. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And the big boys up front in the trenches. What do you think of the O-line, Charles? I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. They know what the man next to them is going to do at all times, and they operate as a terrific unit. From the 36, Darnold. And his throw's going to be incomplete. 
Here are the starters defensively for the Chargers. They were very strong last week in the win over Carolina. I just consider myself fortunate that I'm not in charge of the offensive line. They gave up <laughs> seven sacks last week. And if things don't improve in this game, the head coach isn't going to be looking at the offensive line. He's going to be looking at the offensive line coach. And that's when things get dicey. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now a give right side. Bowman. And that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. So add that tackle for a loss to the two that he had a week ago. And you know what he's doing right now? Smiling? <laughs> yeah, definitely doing that. <laughs> but he's also patting his guys on the back, his defensive front, because they're keeping him clean, meaning no one's getting to him as a blocker. He's able to run to the football, and the plays he's making, he spelled them in the offensive backfield. They run here with Hood. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. On second down, Davis. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. We take a glance now at the starters on the defensive side of the ball for Pittsburgh. They're going to need to be strong against the run in this one. And stopping the run, that's been an issue for them all season long. Aren't you glad that you're not coaching the defense right now? <laughs> I'm very glad. They said that they've seen it in doses, but very, very small doses. Yeah, you've got to be consistent. It's down in and down out, being able to play it, understand what you have to get done, and finally stop some people, put them on the ground. Boy, no chance as he was met and dropped behind the line there. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Ah, uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. 51 yards on the punt there. And possession will switch. Hands first and 10. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And on the first drive, three and out. And I know that these are professional athletes, but I would imagine sometimes you, you get the nerves at the beginning of a game still, don't you? Those don't ever go away. And typically what I've heard from guys and what I remember from playing, if you don't have nerves at the start of a game, it's not gonna be a great day for you. You're not really ready to play. So finding a way to harness those nerves and not let them affect you in a negative way, that's what all the guys are looking for. They'll wind up losing a full 10 yards on the play. A shotgun snap for Darnold. And he connects with Vance McDonald. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. A really good pickup of 28 yards. So from Charger territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 41. To throw is Darnold. Washington's got him. And he's going to get this down near the 30-yard line. Roughing the passer, defense. Well, this crowd does not like that call. Understandable reaction from them. That's their team that the penalty's going against. But you and I both know they're going to take care of the quarterback. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back at the 25. That's what I'm talking about. Sack. Two sacks last week, another one right here. He's been unblockable lately, and I think that goes all the way back to not just his offseason, but the film study he's been doing during the week because I think he's found matchups that he likes. Now the ball comes loose and picked up by the Chargers. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. They've had it twice. They punted twice. Not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit, Everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that is. In this situation, they've had to punt it away twice, so they're furiously going over things on the sidelines. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? On second down, it's Davis. 
Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. So let's take a look here at the key inactives. And, Charles, I guess you get this late in the year, you expect to see some guys populating on this list. You're exactly right. No one's happy about it, but it really shouldn't be a surprise. So the guys who are playing in their spots, in their stead, they have to step up now and make big plays for their team. Now it appears we have a stealer here slow to get up. Not something you want to see in week 16 or any week, really. We'll be right back. A first down carry for Davis. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. Off the bootleg, Howell. And he's got a first down and then some at midfield. And he takes it across the 50 to the 46-yard line. Give him 15 yards on that one and a charge your first down. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 46. They run on first down as they get about three. Second and seven forthcoming. Give them three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. On the draw, this is Davis. And he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. They had three yards on first down, just one yard there. To throw on third down. Howell, he's got his man. It's Williams. Holding offense. Umpire through the flag usually always indicates holding, and that's what we've got. And you know, depending on their positioning, where you are on the field, the umpires get different responsibilities, but always, always making sure no one's holding. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. Boy, they had a lot of real estate to make up there, but what a big-time play for them. Nice completion, excellent gain. Now they're in fourth and manageable. Just a little short, though, with that marker. And that is no good. And this will remain a scoreless game. Now listen, now no kick from 50 plus is a gimme, but here you're indoors in a dome, you'd think ideal conditions. Yeah, it's one that he would expect himself to make, not just us expecting him to make it. Over the years, my theory is very simple. The athletic ability of kickers continue. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. So now 20 yards to go on second down after the sack. Work to be done. Now a give right side. It's Bowman. A good pick up there, 13 yards as they get closer for third down. Throwing here on third down. Darnold over the middle complete. That's Bowman. It'll be a pickup of just two, and that's going to make it fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. You like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. The Charger drive about to get going. Last time out, they had that long 50-plus yard field goal that they missed. And I'm sure on their sideline, they're thinking to themselves, okay, do we still want to try one if we're in that position again? And I would dare say that the answer would be yes. They're going to have a lot of confidence in their kicker. But just to be on the safe side, I'm sure they told their offensive guys, can we get a little bit closer yeah, this time? Closer. Yeah, well, you know, I'd rather get in the end zone first and foremost. But if all else fails, Less of a field goal attempt for him. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. This will be a two-yard loss on the play. And that'll force upon him a third and 14. The last catch took him two yards in the wrong direction. So now what can they do on third? Back to throw. Howell firing quickly here, and that's complete. 
And a good job defensively. They stop him short of the first at the 32. They'll get 11, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked down and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. They'll throw again from their own end zone. And yes, complete to the tight end, McDonald. And he gets it up to the 10-yard line here. So they got some pressure, maybe hoping to get a safety, and they get roughing the passer. And gave up a pass completion as well. Nothing really went right on that play for them. Now a first down run is sniffed out from the start as he'll drop him for a loss of four. Yikes, a four-yard loss really sets him back now for second down. We're scoreless after one. Throwing on second and 14. Darnold, James Washington was the intended target, and it'll bring up third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I tell you, Brandon, this defense is playing with some confidence. Haven't allowed a point yet. Flying to the football. I'm telling you, it's almost 11 to the ball on every snap. Another nice job there to force an incompletion. Davis now to return it. 12 yards on the return that time. And it'll be Charger football here as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. And still no points on the scoreboard. You're coming off of the three and out. They're just looking for anything to grab onto right now, aren't they? I'm wondering if someone's going to take charge in the huddle. You know, we always look at look to the quarterback, but sometimes it's another player on the team, a star, a veteran, someone with some excitement and energy. It's like, all right, guys, let's shake things up and let's go because they still have an opportunity to make things happen. Shake it off. This pass finds its way to Williams, and he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. Looking to throw. Howell. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. T.J. Watt in there to get him, and on the season now, that is nine sacks for him. Don't need it all back at once, but you figure they're going to need something here. 17 yards to go on second down. Back to throw. Howell across the formation. He's got a man. That's Allen. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. That one, a gain of 20 and a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Looking to throw. Howell complete. It's Henry. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Charger first down. Now they'll try the jet sweep here. He is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. To throw on second down, Howell, and he fires one incomplete. The Chargers on third down, just one for five to this point. This is third and eight from the gun, Howell. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Stefan Tuitt, the former Notre Dame man. He's the culprit, and that is now his 13th sack of the season as his great year continues. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. 
Been a bit of a dogfight thus far into the second quarter now, and we do have our first points, a field goal. Yeah, a lot of people say, wow, first action on the scoreboard, about time to me. The action's been right there on the field, trying to figure out who could gain an advantage, gain some field position, finally get points on the board. I'm loving this kind of game. <laughs> and feels like kickers might play a big role in this one. Yes, make sure you give them the respect they deserve. They could cost you a game or win you one. A chance for us to look at this Chargers defense again. And a big reason they've got the lead here in the first half some of these hits we're going to see here. Almost like they're a group of superheroes, right? Something out of a comic book. Boom, pow, biff. They are really playing well and making things happen on their side of the ball. Taking me back to my childhood a bit. There you go. You had a collection, didn't you? I did. Throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. On second down now, it's Bowman. Only a yard on the pickup there, so it leaves them needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. Four down, four down. From the gun on third down, here's Darnold. He's going to sling this deep downfield, and that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty, and it's fourth down. It's always a goal, and it's really nice defensively when you can rally to the football and make sure there's enough contact to force an incompletion. Force an incompletion and force another punt. The Charger drive about to get going. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do best. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. And the best way to do it, touchdowns. Back to throw. Howell, he completes it to Henry. A gain of six there on first. That catch now puts him on the doorstep of 500. It's his 499th reception. On second down, it's Davis. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. The Chargers on third down. They've had their troubles, just one for six. This will be third and five. Operating from the gun, Howell, and it's complete. Henry, and he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. Catch number four for him on the afternoon, and it'll give him a first down. And he has now hit number 500. Charles, that is his 500th NFL career catch. Definitely worthy of applause, but I remember when 500 meant you were going to the Hall of Fame. Nowadays and today. And the Steeler pressure too much here. He's going down. T.J. Watt has now recorded 10 sacks on the season. Well, they go play fake. The problem is nobody was faked out. <laughs> and when no one's faked out, what's the end result? Quarterback gets hit. <laughs> Looking to throw, Howell, and that gonna be incomplete. Good effort there, trying to take a shot, but it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw, Howell, he's got it to Williams. And he'll get up near the 45, they'll spot it at the 44. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. They'll run on first down. Bowman, and the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. A three-yard loss to start the drive. They'll look to make that up and then some on second and 13. Quick hitter here, it's complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Here's Darnold. 
And he will not be able to hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything that warranted a flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. Here's the Los Angeles offense as they get set to take possession. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and give these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. Four yards on the completion, and it sets up a third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Oh, and the hard count might have got him. This might be a first down. Defense. Yeah, he got a little aggressive too early. And he did, wanting that quick takeoff as the ball was snapped, but I think sometimes those big guys on offense, they're pretty cagey too, right? They make those little sudden moves or those little subtle moves that get you to jump. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. We got three. We got three. From the gun, a give to Davis. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. The Chargers on third down. They've struggled to the tune of two for eight so far. This will be third and six. And he's got a man open. That's Allen. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. And they're going to have themselves another first down as the tackle's made at the Steelers' 33. Second quarter, two minutes remain. Three-nothing our score. We play to win. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who, Charles? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. He'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. The sorry, coach. Sorry, we get slap happy up here sometimes. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. To throw again. Powell. Oh, he dropped it. They were looking for him in the middle third. He couldn't catch it. Now third down. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Looking to throw. Howell. Pressure comes, and the Steelers take him down. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Now the Steelers' offense gets ready to get back onto the field. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline, puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. Throwing again on second and 10. Darnold. And he's got his man, the tight end, McDonald. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. The Steelers picking up 15 yards there at a first down. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Again, Darnold, and his throw is incomplete. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. To the air again, Darnold looking for his running back, and he's got him. And taking it across midfield and inside the 45. Now the Steelers use the first of their three timeouts. 
As the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in half number one. On first down, it's Darnold. And that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. So second down, still 10 yards to go. Ball on the 43. Throwing again is Darnold. Throwing over the middle, and it's incomplete. The tight end, C.J. Uzama, the intended receiver. And it's third down. Darnold to throw again. And the throw there going to be incomplete. The former Michigan State Spartan, the rookie Justin Lane, there to bat it away. So a couple of first downs on this drive, but it's looking like another empty possession. And those empty possessions are certainly starting to pile up. So the adjustments that teams talk about all the time have to be taking place. They've got to analyze what's breaking down and figure a way to fix it. The Charger drive about to get going. You're under a minute to go here in the half. Field position not really in your favor, but still time to try and move the ball and get in field goal range. Yeah, you've got the lead. It's a, definitely a thought. Let's go ahead and try and increase it. But at the same time, I don't like the odds. I don't like where they are on the field. Got the lead. They've done well in the first half. Don't mess it up and go into halftime looking at each other wondering what if. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. The Steelers signal for the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And they snap him short of the first as he can only get to the 20. Now the Steelers are going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. On is the Chargers punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And control of the football, switching hands with very little time remaining until the half. They'll indeed try to run it out as they start on the ground. And defensively, they're just looking to keep him contained as they're able to get him down. So we've hit halftime. Just a field goal separating these two teams at the break. As we'll send you eastward to Orlando. Standing by with that EA Sports Halftime Report now is Jonathan Coachman. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. The weather might be cold, but the playoff races are heating up here on this final Sunday before Christmas. So let's get to it. Lastly, let's check on one final game for you. And you can see they are scoreless as they play the second quarter. Meanwhile, in our game, not much happening on the scoreboard. Just a lone field goal in that first half. For the call of the second half, maybe we can get a touchdown, fellas. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, sir. A field goal separates these two teams as we come back for this second half. This is taken at the three. Oh, nice move. <laughs> and a very good return, but a penalty marker is down. I'm not sure what this is going to be. Defense. So that flag will cost them 15. And it doesn't matter anymore how you get the face mask. Any part of it is going to be 15 yards. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Now it's Darnold. And this is incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another Aaron. Oh, he tried to pitch it, and the ball's loose. <laughs> on plays like this, where the ball comes free, it's often unusual for the team that lost it to get it back. Because this is, this is the quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, a teammate is able to come up with the ball. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. 
But it appears they're going to come up empty on this first drive of the second half, still down by that slim margin. Yeah, and that's okay. You know, when, when you sit and analyze it, they're not happy about what happened having to go to the bench. But this gives them a chance to let their defense do some work while they on the sidelines go over what they're doing offensively and formulate a proper plan. The Charger drive about to get going. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Here's a throw over the middle. It's taken in by his tight end. And they'll wind up getting this to the 37. Gain of nine. Came up a little short on the last pass play. They did get nine yards out of it, leaving him with his third and one. And he's got his man, Hilton. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Second and 12 after the first down pass play went backwards for two yards. It's Davis on the counter. And he's able to get more than half of what they needed. That brings up a third and five. Back to throw. Howell. And that is incomplete. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed, if there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. And Pittsburgh getting set to take the field. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. They'll run it now, out of the gun. Run, run. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. The Steelers able to pick up 18 yards there. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make this a second and 13. Now on second and 13, Darnold complete to Washington. Personal foul, unnecessary roughness, defense. A little too much extracurricular there. When you have a game with a lot of contact, tensions are going to run pretty high. You're going to be emotional, but you have to harness it somehow, and he didn't on that play. Darnold completes it. It's a Pittsburgh first down, a gain of 13. Darnold now five straight completions here in this second half, first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. That's going to be caught at the 10-yard line. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Throwing again on second down. Darno, this will be caught at about the six. It's a gain of five on the play, and that is going to set up a third and one. Darnold will throw it on third and one. And this is going to be incomplete. Now 
the holder's going to keep it. He's going to try to run for it. They're not going to get it. They try to move the chains with a surprise, but it's a turnover on downs. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And after a sluggish start, he's really bounced back. The numbers bear that out. And you're a baseball guy, partner. How many at-bats over the course of a baseball season? Oh, boy, four about in three, a game. Yeah, about the four in a four game. Four times 162. 350 or so, right? Sometimes it takes a while for a guy to get going. That's my point. It's not the first few carries. You don't worry about that. As they go along, get that guy lathered up, get those blocking assignments down. Those two-yard gains turn into bigger gains as the game moves along. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. All right, let's go ahead and detail this situation here. Third and long coming up. Back near your own goal line. I would be very hesitant about throwing the football in this situation. Maybe just run, run up the middle? Yeah, I think that that might be the spot for them. you got to try and find some space for your punter because you don't want him backed up where he has to alter what he does. Averaging 50 yards a boot so far as this one's away. 47 yards on the punt that time, just one yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. So good field position for the Steelers as they come up first and 10 at the 40. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. So second down and 10. Once again, they'll go from the 40. Darnold toward the center of the field, but it's incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. A play fake, and it's Darnold. He's going to wind up and air it out, and that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. It's been this way most of the afternoon, hasn't it? This secondary, it really put this receiving core on lockdown. Listen, they've worked together like a basketball team is playing excellent defense. Great communication, doesn't matter whether it's man or zone. And especially against deep balls, as we saw there, they're not giving up anything to them. And now out on the field, here comes Los Angeles. Now, if you're a fan of punting, and I know that not many people are, but this game kind of turning into one for you. Well, it's okay if it's a skills contest, right? We're really into it then, but not during the course of an actual game. This has turned into a field position game, though. Sometimes a better punter may actually determine the outcome. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. 16 yards is the pick up there and a first down for L.A. There are so many things to watch for when you play defense and reading your keys. You always hear about that and having your eyes in the right place. Sometimes your eyes can fool you. How about that play action there? And it sprang the big guy, didn't it? Able to dump it over the top to him. It'll be a loss of a yard, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Looking to throw on second down. Howell, he's got it to Hilton. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Looking to throw. Howell for Keenan Allen. That's complete. Allen hit. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And he'll bring this one back to the 29. Yeah, baby. Yeah. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Pittsburgh's offense now heading back out onto the field. And last drive, three and out. Still a goose egg on the scoreboard. How do they break that goose egg? They've got to find a way to get the ball in the hands of their playmakers, get them some space, and try and make a first. Rush coming, and he's taken down. How many times have we sat with coordinators, and especially the defensive guys, they've talked about big plays, sacks. They often come in bunches. Well, it may not be a bunch here, but that is the third sack of the game for them. And around sack three or four, I would think it starts to get in the quarterback's head a little bit. 
not just the quarterback, the offensive play caller, the offensive line, knocks people off balance and changes what they normally do. The second down attempt there, knocked down as it leaves the quarterback's hand and it's incomplete. Throwing here on third down, Darnold, and that is incomplete. So it doesn't look like they're going to be able to build off the turnover. Well, the defense certainly did its part. It got them the football. But you're exactly right. It looks like they're going to have to punt this one away. And it's not a turnover. But doesn't it feel like one after grabbing the momentum with the defensive play? Yeah. And they had all that momentum after getting the football. And now zapped right back in the other direction. And that'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. They begin with a run by Davis, and he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. They go again with Davis. He's got a first down past the 30, and brought down across the 50 to the 49-yard line. The previous play, they barely got back to the line of scrimmage. Now they pick up over 30 yards. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. And now a carry here for their fullback. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. It'll go as a gain of 11 at a Charger first. Watching that run takes me back to something a famous old coach once said. Any player he wants on his team, he wants him to be agile, mobile, and most definitely hostile. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. They work again from the 38 on second and 10. Throwing again, Howell. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. This offense was on the move. Now two straight incompletions have them looking at third and ten. Complete to Hilton. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard. It's that. So much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. Yeah, stopped him in his tracks. So that's a seven-play drive that ultimately stalls out there at the end. Yeah, things were a little leaky in the beginning on that drive, weren't they? But how about the front seven? As they got closer to their goal line, things stiffened a little bit and forced the field goal. The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And three and out on the last drive. No points on the scoreboard. A little soul searching now? I would say so, and they need to help out their defense a little bit. They've had to be on the yeah, field a lot position. more than normal, put them in some tough spots, but what's the old adage? When you get another chance, it gives you a better chance to do it right. Looking to throw again on second down. Darnold, his throw incomplete. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Darnold now to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he will be taken down with a big pickup there on what's going to be the final play of the third quarter. Back now in Los Angeles. It's the Steelers with the football, but trailing here as we get going in quarter number four. On first and ten, Darnold. And the coverage terrific there as that's knocked out and incomplete. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Back to throw, Darnold. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And he's going to be taken down with a marker on the field. So let's see about the call. So that one a hold right guard. And you understand why offensive and defensive linemen probably go to martial arts schools and work on their hands so often because... Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Credit the sack to Joey Bosa. 
And that sack certainly just strengthening his candidacy for defensive player of the year. You think he's got that one in the bag yet? I'm not willing to vote quite yet just because I won't wait until the season's over, but he is really tracking towards it. Just look at all the great plays we've seen from him throughout the season. Strength plays that you referenced there, as well as agility plays. They just have not found a way to block him consistently. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they've rallied and made the tackle. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! The Charger drive about to get going. Their defense has pitched the shutout. Now they probably need to deliver a little breathing room, maybe make it a two-score game as they've got it first and 10. A good start to the drive here as that's caught out on the left side. Give them 15 yards on that one and a Charger first down. That catch, by the way, number 505 of his career, and that ties him with a couple of other tight ends for the past, Frank Wycheck and Dallas Clark. And those guys were excellent players, but how about what we're seeing right now? 505 and rising. What a nice career he's put together. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. On the carry, it's Davis. And he'll only get a yard, maybe two, up to the 46. From the gun on third down, Powell. And the catch made by Hilton. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 18 big yards on that one and a charger first. Operating out of Steeler territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 36. Back to throw. Powell, he's got a man, that's Keenan Allen. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. They come up first and 10 at the 16. Maybe anticipating a blitz, and they jumped. Yeah, and if we saw it, you know that they saw it. The bad guys might have been coming on that play. Had to pick them up, and they jumped. And he's brought down just outside of the 10 at the 11. A good gain again. That's now 31 oh, yeah. yards combined on those last two plays. On second down now, it's Davis. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. Nine yards on the play there, and it sets him up first and goal. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Looking to throw. Howell under a heavy rush, and down he goes. So they get pushed back to the 11, and here's second and goal. Off the bootleg. Howell. He finds his receiver, Williams, for a Charger touchdown. Yeah, way to go. Mike Williams, his fourth touchdown on the year. For the Chargers, they're able to widen their lead. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that was the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is in a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. It took them an extra look, but they found out it is a touchdown indeed. The official says this one counts. Able to shake him off. But in the end, the pressure too great, and he goes down. Well, they tried to get two and ended up getting none because the quarterback had nowhere to go with the ball and ends up getting sacked. Nowhere to go at all. Great job, though, defensively. They were ready. Fielded about a yard deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. 
The Steeler offense here about ready for their next drive. And you're still in this game. I mean, yeah, you haven't scored. Offense obviously has struggled, but you're only two scores down, so all hope not lost. Not at all. And Darnold, he lost the football. But it looked like the Steelers were able to recover, and they will indeed hold on to the ball. All day, baby. All day. We coming all day. And a little bit of good fortune there. He wasn't able to get it back, but he did have a teammate on the spot able to retain possession for them. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Now Darnold. Oh, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Get boys. Yeah, that's how we do, D. Need something from deep in the bag of tricks here after first and second down went backwards. It's third and very long. The shotgun snap for Darnold. And he's got his man on the out route. And he'll go out of bounds. Looks like right at the 15. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. Barry on to punt as he gets this one away. Now a late flag comes in as they got him down via the face mask, and that'll give him even better starting position. They're down here in the fourth, and that personal foul penalty's not going to help. No, in these types of situations, players will tell you that's extra intensity. From where we sit, it's actually frustration, not a good play. They go play action here on first down. Looking left sideline, incomplete. He was looking for his tight end, Hunter Henry, and that'll bring up second down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. It's a gain of about three, but it's going to leave him with third and still seven yards to go. On third down, Davis. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Just a gain of two there, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. So they're going to come to the line here, and it appears try to go for it on fourth. On fourth down, Howell. They'll let this go for the end zone. And no, it's incomplete. The fourth down play doesn't work for the Chargers. And this Steeler defense able to come up with a stop. And I am not sure, partner, there what the mindset was to go for. I don't know. And some teams just feel that possession is the key to everything. They just want to have the football in their hands. No matter how it goes to the other team, they just don't trust doing that. So they say, let's uh, go for it and try and finish it ourselves. But now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Well, when you're leading in the fourth quarter, that's not the penalty you want. Not at all, and now your discipline comes into question. Having poise this stage of the game, you can't have those kind of plays. A first down throw, Darnold. Washington's got it. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Pushing the foul, roughing the passer, defense. Well, we looked at each other right away. We knew we that go. flag was coming go. out. And I always enjoy go. the conversation post because <laughs> officials always tell you, I don't want to throw the flag, but you caused the play. You did it. I had to. And this play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back to the 15. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Darnold from the gun. And his throw here is incomplete. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. To throw is Darnold. That is caught at the seven-yard line. And they will get to him at the seven and stop him short of the first down marker. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter, let's see how this plays out. Pass incomplete, but the flag in the backfield, and this might be a roughing call. Roughing the passer, defense. Forcing the incomplete pass on fourth down, and then roughing the passer. Your offense was ready to roll, ready to get out on the field and take over. Instead, 
Self and he's going to take it in for a Steeler touchdown. C.J. Uzama, his third touchdown now on the year as his guys are back within a single score. There was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Matt Gay on for the extra point. And this is back to a five-point game. Just a four-play drive that time. And it ends with the Steelers finding the end zone. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. Right now clinging to a one-score lead, Charles, and I think operating within that four-minute offense with a little less than four minutes to go applies here, right? It certainly does, and that means the playbook is still wide open. But you are a little bit more careful about what you're calling. You want plays that are going to gain yardage, how would you say it, consistently, mm -hmm. right? You don't need the big shots downfield, but make sure the clock continues to run. Pile up the first downs, and the goal... End the game with your quarterback kneeling down at the end, and you still have the lead. That one good for 13 and a charger first. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Back to throw. Howell. Pass interference. Defense. So even with the pass interference, it's a completed pass. They'll go ahead and just take the play instead. How about the effort? Making the catch despite the pass interference. Nothing else to be gained on the play. No need to take the penalty. The play stands. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. To throw on second down. Howell. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Now, there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. Well, there have been a ton of sacks. They were just trying to prevent another. So what you're telling me is the conventional way has not really worked for them, huh? Not at all. Not at all, so he tries to... Oh, Davis lost it. It's loose, and it's picked up by the Steelers. And he'll return this ball across midfield to the 47-yard line. I know when you're looking at the scoreboard clock, we're getting near the end of this game, but they were in what was really called four-minute offense, and that's practice, being taking care of the football, taking time off the clock, not giving them a chance to come back. But bottom line is, what did I say in the beginning? Taking care of the football. That didn't happen. Didn't do it. A costly turnover. So Sam Darnold in the offense. Down by five, 2.12 to play. Plenty of time here. They've got three timeouts and the two-minute warning as they've got it first and 10. They're throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. Here's Darnold. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Bowman. And yeah, they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. That good for 21 yards on the catch and run. So the Steelers with the football as we get you reset. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Back to throw. Got an open man. It's Washington. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Another nice gain. 16 yards there and a first down again. They'll look to throw, and this is caught, and that could seal it. It's a touchdown. Wow, I know it's a never-say-never never situation, but to me, that looks like that's the one that's going to finish them off. The score that puts them in front here late, but now you got to rally your kick team, don't you, and say the last thing we need is a big return. And what happens is guys get overeager, get out of their lane because they're so excited they want to make the last tackle. <laughs> you mess up, could come back at you a long way. Now Darnold, and this is caught, and it's a three-point game. Yeah. 
So that effort gives him a three-point cushion and guarantees that a field goal going forward won't beat them. Yeah, and that's really good strategy because that's all you care about, not getting beat at this stage. At least give your team a fighting chance. After the touchdown, it's Gay to kick this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Charger drive about to get going. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. You can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all. And I think the ball's out, and it's picked up by the Steelers. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. So they obviously declined that, and it is a touchdown. They still had the option, but let's face it. <laughs> There's no option. There's no option when you score a touchdown. An easy call for them. Here's Gay now to add the extra point. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll bring it back to just about the 25, call it the 24-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They might be thinking this is close to a lost cause here. Got to play it out. What do they need to do? Well, they have a thought process in mind already, but they can't get ahead of themselves. They know that they need to score quickly. Yep, two score game. Onside kick and get the ball back and then score again. But they can't worry about the last two points. <laughs> the only thing that matters is... And he will be hit from behind and run over. Wow. Now the Chargers going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Now then, after the sack, it'll be interesting to see what they have planned for second and 23. Looking to throw. Howell. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And it's picked up by the Steelers. And that should just about do it. They return it to the end zone, sealing it with a defensive touchdown. The offense, they've had some sloppy moments. Sloppy there again on that one, and it could be the backbreaker. From a defensive perspective, if the offense is going to be sloppy, you've got to take advantage of that. And that's what they've done all game long. Gay is on for the point after. And that'll make this a three-score game as the lead moves to 17. And you can bet they're preaching two hands on the ball here as the kicks away following that fumble return. This is fielded at the goal line. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They're down big here late. I don't know. You just one last drive here for pride? Some people like to do that. I remember playing for a guy once. We were down huge. And someone said, Coach, what do you want to call? He just waved a hand like, who cares? Let's Make get out of here and do something some <laughs> other time. But some teams like to do something at the end to feel a little bit better yeah. as, they continue to, as they continue to move forward. Yeah, probably just want to put this one behind them. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. Back-to-back -back good plays. Have them on the move on first down. Back to throw. Howell. And that will be incomplete as time has run out on this football game. So this one in the win column for the Pittsburgh Steelers. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half to put this one on ice. And I know a lot of people watching this one, 
were thinking to themselves, I'll bet halftime was really interesting. Probably took the paint off the walls with some of the words that were said. <laughs> but I get the sense that it was much more of the adjustments they made. They came in with a game plan that we saw that didn't work in the first half. They made the adjustments necessary, went away from that, and then they got it together, got a spark, and then took off. It's really nice to watch in the second half. So for the Steelers, the win moves them to eight and seven now on the year. And they'll get another road test next week as they head to Philly to take on the Eagles. Meanwhile, for the home team here, they'll be guaranteed a finish of no better than 500 as they drop to seven and eight. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.